Hello everybody, this is Denim Darlin and today I am going to be cleaning a pair of boots. So the reason um, I was inspired to create this video is because my boyfriend wanted to know how to properly care for his Danner boots and we could not find a good video online. Um, there are some videos but uh, not too many very well detailed vi videos so I thought that I'd give it a shot. Um, this is the Danner Mountain Light Cascade Clovis and this boot retails for $380 through the Danner website. It is made using full grain leather and you can basically use any full grain leather products out there. What I am going to use today is Smith's Leather Balm. This is handmade in Maine and it is a 100% natural. So what this is made out of is organic cocoa butter, organic beeswax, and 100% pure sweet almond oil that's it it smells really nice it basically smells like like chocolate every time i open it i want to eat it you can buy this on smithsleatherbalm.com this is one ounce and uh, it's very durable i've used it a few times i will be giving these boots a thorough deep cleaning so i am going to use red wing foam leather cleaner and the sponge that comes with the cleaner I am going to use water, warm water. I am going to protect the boots with leather protector by Red Wing. And I am going to brush the boots before I do anything with a horsehair brush. And this one is by Red Wing also. So we are going to move into my kitchen so that I can do all of this. Alrighty guys, let's go. We're in my kitchen and the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the shoelaces. You should always remove the shoelaces. Next, I am going to brush each boot, remove excess, excess dirt from them. I'm making sure that I get the well of the boot. Especially with Danner boots, it is super important to get any dirt or debris off of the well because the boots are made using a stitch down method, which means that the upper or the piece of leather that the boot is made out of is stitched down onto the sole. So if you damage this leather and you wear down the sole and you want to send them back to get repaired, they won't be able to because there won't be any leather for them to stitch this sole back on with. So it's very important that you take care of this leather as much as possible. A stitched down constructed boot is very different than a Goodyear welted boot. Now these boots, um, truth be told, is that my boyfriend brushed them down before this video. I told him to leave them, but he was trying to be helpful, so there isn't very much coming off of them. However, they are thirsty, so I'm excited to clean them, I'm excited to uh, condition them. These boots are about six months old. They've been uh, taken to the mountains, uh, they are hiking boots, they're great for hiking, and they were pretty covered in dirt before they were brushed. So there isn't really anything coming off of them. But for the sake of the video, I want to show step by step. Awesome. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to add water, uh, warm water, oh, excuse me, to this little container. And I am going to add two capfuls of the foam leather cleaner. All right. Next, I am going to agitate the sponge inside of the little container of water. This container is very tiny. I can't find the other one that I normally use, so this will do. Now what's very important with these boots is you don't really want to run them underneath water or anything. And what you're going to end up doing is after you rub them down with the sponge and the foam leather cleaner is you're going to wipe them down. And I have my handy dandy stock tank supply hank right there, my little handkerchief that I'm going to use to 
dry them with. And you want to let the leather dry afterwards so that you can properly apply the conditioner. These boots aren't super filthy, so what I'm doing right now is sufficient. Dirt will come off of them, but again, they could be worse. There are instructions on the foam leather cleaner saying that if the boots are in terrible shape, they're really dirty, then you can apply the foam leather cleaner directly to the boot. And the sponge is getting dirty, but not terrible. These are gonna look really nice when we're done. So I'm getting the area around the eyelets or or not eyelet speed hooks. What are these dangly things called? Someone help me. These are speed hooks. These are lace loops. And again, I am getting the, the wealth of the boot with the sponge. I do wanna make sure that I evenly clean the boot. And yep, look at that sponge, it's dirty. I'm probably gonna rinse it really quick before I put it back in the little container. And I am going to get the area under the tongue also. One of my favorite things to do is clean my boots or, or clean boots. It's very therapeutic to me. And boots are not cheap, so you want to make sure you protect your investment, um, especially if you want to keep them for a lifetime. Alrighty. That's sufficient. I'll put it up here for now. Moving on to boot number two. I'm just going to rinse the sponge in between so that I start fresh with the next boot. And by lightening the next boot, the first boot should be pretty dry. But either way, I'm just going to rub it down with the handkerchief just to make sure. Cleaning a pair of boots isn't super time consuming, it's actually pretty quick, so I highly recommend that you make time. How often should you be cleaning your boots? Well, it really depends. Conditioning, you could, it depends on the, on the leather, but you could hold off six months or so, you know, in between, depending on how you're using them. You just don't want the leather to dry out. You wanna keep the boots nice and moisturized. It's not necessary that you clean the boots with foam leather cleaner or saddle soap, whatever your choice is every single time because the boots aren't always super filthy. But again, if you are someone who's putting your boots to work or are taking them hiking a lot, etc., then cleaning them with saddle soap or foam leather cleaner is a great idea. Removing um, dirt from the leather helps preserve the leather longer. I have uh, friends who clean their boots every three months and I have friends who clean their boots every year or so. Depending on my boot, I'll usually clean it about every six months. I'll give it a very good clean. And when I say very good clean, I'll use the, the foam leather cleaner and water. Awesome. I'm going to move over to the first boot. Let me give it. It's actually pretty dry already. Give it a little rub down really quick. And to apply the Smith's Leather Balm, I am going to use my hands. Uh, some people like using a rag or a cloth. Um, some people like using a brush. I like using my hands. I just feel that I waste less product that way. I feel like cloths and rags usually absorb more of the product and I like to use as much of it as I can on my boots. I don't really like any to go to waste if I can avoid it. And with the Smith's Leather Balm, with it being natural, I especially don't mind using my hands to apply it. It's not toxic. Awesome, the boot is pretty dry. Or it's not pretty dry, it's 
pretty much dry except for that right there which is still in the process of drying but I'm gonna start I'm gonna start applying the Smith's leather balm right now so look at that it's super warm in my apartment I am sweating like heck right now and this is kind of melting but it's gonna be perfect it'll spread easier that way oh it smells lovely I want to eat it okay here we go you don't need a lot whenever you condition your boots a little bit goes a long way it spreads really nicely and that's exactly why leather bombs last so long there is a subtle or a slight change of change in color in the leather but once the leather fully absorbs the product it goes back to its natural color it's never going to be completely back to the color it originally was when you first purchased your boot because with age boots do get darker but it'll be pretty darn close it won't say as dark as when you first conditioned the boot and i guess that depends on what you use if you use uh, something like boot oil it pretty much looks like olive oil then that does really darken the leather um, if you use mink oil that actually darkens the leather more too but with things like a leather cream or the Smith's leather balm, you don't really darken your leather very much. As I'm conditioning the boot, I'm also being mindful of the welt, making sure that I condition the welt too. These are very sturdy boots. Nice and beefy, very comfortable, worth the price. Has anybody read the book Wild or watched the movie? This is the book. And add a little bit right here, a little extra. It's uh, scraped up right here. It's probably been banged up against rocks and such. Ooh, it's like a sauna in here. get every part of the leather um, I am going to get the tongue I'm gonna get underneath the tongue I just want to make sure that we preserve as much of this boot as possible for as long as possible Alrighty, I conditioned the entire boot. The leather protector is awesome. I really like it. It helps protect the leather from water and also from, from dirt from sticking too much. It does a wonderful job. It really helps water roll off the leather. So I'll uh, spritz that at the end and then move on to the second boot really quick while the leather balm absorbs. And before I do that, you'll uh, see a quick difference in the color of the boots. Alrighty, here we go. All 
right here on the front, it's also scraped up from rocks and dirt. So I just put a little bit extra already and I have it sitting there. This leather, um, the standard full grain leather feels different than the Red Wing full grain leather. It doesn't feel like it has as many oils in it. Feels uh, slightly more velvety. Don't know why that is. I'm assuming it's because the leathers are tanned differently in the process or oiled differently. Maybe less oils are added to this one. And I'm getting every single part of the leather, uh, including the welt, and making sure that as I apply the leather balm, I pay attention to the welt too. I'll make a few more uh, videos on how to clean boots and I'll use different products so y'all can see the difference uh, with the different products used and make up your own mind on which is best for you. I'll show you exactly what the different products do. I have mink oil, I have boot oil, and I have uh, boot leather cream, all from Red Wing. Uh, the only non-Red Wing item I have right now is a Smith's Leather Balm, which a friend recommended I really love. But I'll show you all what all of the other ones do. I think it'll be very neat for you guys to see it without having to buy it for yourself and potentially not liking what it does to your boots. Awesome. So this one is done. They're both boots side by side. This one is already lighter than this one is. It's not as dark anymore since it's been absorbing the Smith's Leather Balm for the duration of me applying it to this one. Alrighty, so the last thing I am going to do is spritz the boots with the leather protector and I'll um, finally put the boot laces back on. And it says to use this about six to eight inches from shoes and spray over entire surface. Awesome, both boots are laced up, conditioned, 
protected, cleaned, and ready for another adventure. Everybody, thank you very much for joining me on this boot cleaning adventure. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was enjoyable. I will do more. I'll uh, hopefully get better at them, a little more fine-tuned. Sorry if this one wasn't, but I did want to show y'all how to properly care for your boots. And um, again, I will show you different videos on how to care for your boots using different products. Join me next time. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. Once again, this is Denim Darlin. And as always, it was a pleasure making this video for you. Okay, everybody, take care.